Workspace Life Space and the College Project have been pioneering temporary use of empty buildings in Bristol for the last five years. And it's about taking on empty spaces and abandoned spaces or derelict spaces and revitalising them and bringing a positive, creative energy to these spaces and giving them a new lease of life. In these times of recession and cuts, uh, it's important to find innovative new ways to build sustainable communities at a local level and we think this is a really integral part of that, is taking on spaces that are disused, filling them with creative and community activity and allowing people to build their businesses, pursue their passions, pursue their dreams and together we can make a better world if we um, use a bit of elbow grease and we keep talking with each other. We were given a lease on the college building in 2011 by the Homes and Communities Agency. Uh, we moved into this big empty site, it's a six acre site. The college had moved on to another part of Bristol uh, and in between this building moving on and becoming a housing development we took on the space and filled it with creative and artistic activity with an emphasis on community and educational activity and as well as providing studio and uh, creative space for for business people, for artists, for community groups. We've had a skate park here that's generated over 950 members over the two years. And we've also had an after school club a couple of evenings a week supporting local youth uh, from the estates around this site. Lots of makers, fabricators, carpenters, builders, we've got social enterprise, um, we've set up a cafe, a boutique. We've done all kinds of things here. We've had thousands of people through the site over the last two years. I think you have to look at the college as a community. We've been able to invite the local community into the college, running events where we provide classes, knowledge, education, and you know, meeting the diversity of people who are involved in creative practice here, you know, is is of course valuable, especially to the kids in the neighbourhood because they, you know, they we, we bring something new here. Um, the after school clubs for for the kids in an area where there's not that much to do, um, all that sort of stuff will help the community and it's, you know, it's nice and different and colourful. It's always been our intention for the space to support the creative community, to support small businesses and social enterprises, to be able to build up from an affordable start. My name is Tim Chan. I have been creating a glow show in this space. We've choreographed some moves to music. We've then written programs for the costumes to light up our body and react with the music. I've been selling the show a lot to corporate audiences, but some councils. You're not paying an enormous amount of money for a place to go and work and explore your own ideas, which gives you a freedom that maybe other people don't. And I think that freedom is immensely valuable. Yeah. I would be able to afford this sort of size of studio without, uh, yeah, with, with it being more expensive. We're pioneering ways of giving people who wouldn't necessarily be able to afford it access to space and the ability to grow their businesses or their projects from the ground up in a safe and secure way. Okay. Um, I think the art space life space model for taking empty properties um, that are awaiting development and turning them into temporary kind of spaces for cultural production is you know absolutely inspired and which facilitates you know kind of uh, people being able to do things that they wouldn't be ordinarily be able to do, you know, it, it's, it, it's just, you know, it's the way forward. Uh, we think we've built models here that can be replicated in any city or town in the UK uh, and we like to see temporary use becoming the norm uh, across the United Kingdom 